Hi, I'm Jen Rhodes, and I'm the Assistant Director of the Textile Design Undergraduate Program at Jefferson. Hi, I'm Sophia, and I'm studying textile design at Jefferson. Well, when someone asks me what textile design is, well, I say, I go to school to learn how to make fabric, like knitting or like weaving and point to my pants or like curtains or something else and kind of just like show them because it is everywhere. Textile design is one of those things that it's a little bit invisible in the sense that no one thinks of it. But textiles aren't just what we wear. Textiles are everywhere and every fabric that we touch and interact with Someone had to design it, someone had to create it. Whether it's something incredibly utilitarian, like the towel you use when you step out of the shower in the morning, or something incredibly technical, but completely invisible, like the airbag fabrics in your steering wheel. We see textile products in artificial arteries and veins. It's the perfect combination of art and science. Oh yeah, definitely. I definitely. A lot of art, it's a little bit of history, it's a little bit of math, but the kind I like, and and science all rolled together. I would say the words that describe textile designer would be creativity, problem solving, stick to itness, resilience, definitely, and also just a pure interest and love for color and texture. Color and texture is huge. When I was little, I used to love. Like if we went to the hardware store or something and I'm, I was with my parents, I would always try to steal paint chips and my mom would always make me put I, them back. I used to grab paint chips too. It was a little bit of the highlight of Saturday errands. Mm -hmm. And like touching everything because everything is so tactile, right? We're tactile people. We have to touch it. I don't really love to draw, but I'm a huge note taker. One of the things I really love to do is take that, that technical data and use it as inspiration for creation. I'm always learning something. So when I was looking for a college, something that was really important to me was a good studio and community atmosphere. How are the di different departments and the schools working with each other? Are there students working with each other on different projects? And what are they? And that's something that we do really great at Jefferson. I've collaborated with a few fashion designers and this semester I'm collaborating for the first time with an industrial designer for a furniture project. First semester freshmen have a class in their major. It's hands-on from the start. We receive yarn donations from industry partners all the time. We get yarn from Nike, we get yarn from Urban Outfitters, we get yarn from Cotton Incorporated. Um, at some schools, students have to purchase their own yarns. Our students are welcome to purchase whatever yarns they like on their own, but we have a tremendous yarn library. There aren't a lot of textile design programs around the country, and, and we're all a little bit different. At Jefferson, we have a Bachelor of Science in design. You know, for every studio class we have, we have a technical class behind it that supports it. And we have the best toys on campus. Oh yeah, we do, we do. I can think of about 10 different types of knitting machines that we have on campus up and running right now. I can't believe that I have access to all this stuff and not only all of it, but all at once. While there are people there to teach me how to use it, there's just always something else you can learn if you want to. There's always someone else who's working on something that you see and you're like, hey, what's that? I want to learn how to do that. That's really cool. There are so many opportunities you can open your own studio and, and pursue a more artistic path. You can work in apparel, you can work in home, you can work in technical fabrics or medical fabrics or contract fabrics. We have uh, an alumnus working for Division of Johnson & Johnson designing yarns and knitted fabrics for sutures and sewing threads used inside the body during surgery. The industry is huge and learning about not only how to make textiles, but how textiles are made on a large scale in the real world. And being able to think about how could things change, like how could this be more sustainable is super important. If you lump textile into a broader category of textiles and apparel, it's, I think, our second largest industry on a global level. And as textile designers, it's up to us to make intelligent and ethical decisions. I'm just excited to see and be in this place where everyone is 
shares like this love, appreciation and respect. Learning about that and then getting to be a part of that has been life changing and such an incredible experience. There's just so many possibilities. 